it's Peter. I'm back. Of course I am. Like, where am I going? I'm going nowhere. I have so many things to talk about every day that I'm going nowhere. So, also in the news. You guys, what a sad, sad day in the YouTube world, in the pop culture world. And I'm just like, so sad about so many things, you guys. I don't even really know where to start, but I do have some notes. So anyway. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, on my way into my office this morning, I watched this video by Drama Alert where basically, he, I'm just going to paraphrase it. Go watch the video. He says that like, there, but YouTubers don't want a lot of drama and negativity anymore. So he's going to start doing more positivity. What? No, 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 no. What is wrong? You guys are not listening to me, okay? When you're good at something, you stick to it. Why? We don't need that, okay? There's enough positivity out there in the world. Go find it. We come to you for drama and negativity. That's what we want. That's what. Listen, you guys are all like, oh my God, Karina Kaboom hasn't put out a video in days. And it's like all these people are running scared. And the vegan cheetah is just growing, 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 growing. In fact, he was talking something in his video the other day about Anissian, and he was like, is he just talking about Eugenia Cooney for views? And he was like, because if you've noticed, his like, he's going down. And then the vegan cheetah says, but I'm going up. <laughs> he's like, I'm not worried about it. No, he's not worried about it because he knows what he's good at and he keeps on doing it. That's why I love Charlie from the vegan cheetah. So anyway, the other really sad new drama alert, Kim Star, get on, go back to what you're good at. That's what I love. Okay. The other really sad news and like 98.5 of you won't care about this, but I'm going to do a whole video about this on my booktube channel, is that John Green put out, John Green, the author of The Fault in Our Stars, number one young adult writer probably ever, put out um, a video today on the Vlogbrothers channel that he may never publish another book. What? I mean, are you serious? Oh, come on. I can't even... I need to go back to reading some Daniel Steele and Jackie Collins. But anyway... All right, because I just can't. I mean, I just can't. So anyway, somebody asked me to, I mean, it wouldn't be a Peter Mon video. If I, and I am kind of shouting. Somebody was like, you shout in your videos. Of course I shout. I'm so excited. But somebody said, um, oh, I was thinking about this last night. Like when I am really famous, because somebody said, don't, I hope this doesn't go to Peter's head. So many of people are saying that. Like they hope this doesn't, all the fame is going to my head. Whatever, we'll address that in a second. But. When I am, I hope they like in the sound stage where my TV show is because you know I'm gonna have one. It's just gonna be called Peter Mon. It's gonna be so. Un it's gonna be unreal. And then like I will only have people on there that I love, and I'm just gonna have them on there every day, a week. So I'm gonna be like Trisha Paytas Fridays or something like that. But anyway, um. I hope they recreate this. Like, Roseanne, you like, uh, Roseanne is one of my all-time favorite shows. Don't even come for me on Roseanne. I can tell you every line from every episode, the, the Halloweens are my favorites. See? Right there. But anyway, do you also see what's right up there? Blue nail polish. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I hope they recreate this in the soundstage, that it just looks like you're sitting in my living room, but really I'm on a soundstage. Get it? Because I'm so cute like that. But anyway... Um, okay, so somebody asked me, they were like, because it wouldn't be a Peter Mon video if I wasn't talking about Shane Dawson, blah, 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 whatever. Somebody was like, what is your favorite, Sh what are some of your favorite Shane Dawson videos, okay? Um, well, basically my fam favorite Shane Dawson videos are any video that Shane Dawson is in, because <laughs> I just love Shane Dawson so much. But today he put out a video and it was like, pop culture conspiracy theories and the Illuminati and stuff. By the way, I, before we get into all that, I just need to say... Um, a, a hello to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Thank you for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> no, I totally owe that right now to, uh, let's see, Jenna Marbles, Charles Gross, Nick Snyder. Who else has helped me get up there? <laughs> Shane Dawson, um, Trisha Paytas, Charles Gross single-handedly got me a ton of subscribers. So if you're here to see my Birkin, I'm more Vera Bradley than Birkin. But anyway, no, seriously, I want a Birkin so bad and I don't even care. I just like care it like this. No, but I want like a Birkin backpack specially made for me in the color of my eyes. That's what I want. So Air must get on that. Okay. But somebody was talking about my favorite Shane Dawson videos. And so I was like watching this video of his 18 minutes long about these pop star conspiracy theories. And this whole thing that he goes into at the beginning, it's very interesting. I actually really, really like the video. It's kind of really well thought out. It's not like tongue in cheek and funny. It's very serious. And I'm such a conspiracy theorist in any way that I totally was kind of like buying into a lot of it. But what was interesting to me was that 
in there, the first thing he talks about is that Britney Spears is possibly cloned and that it's not really Britney Spears that we see with her kids and on stage and all. I already knew that. And in fact, I have to tell you, I'm really, really surprised that Shane Dawson made this video because, like, he's so close to the story. I almost wonder if he's trying to, like, advert attention away from, like, what's really going on. Because I know where the real Britney Spears is. The real Britney Spears is living in L.A. with her boyfriend, Sean, and she goes by the name Trisha Paytas. Okay? I mean, let's just be for real. Her name is Blonde Sundial 4MJ. Okay? Britney Spears' album that he talks about on the thing. Hold on. I need my notes. It's called Original Doll by Britney Spears. The one album that she never got to put out. Original Doll. Blonde Sun Doll. For MJ. We all know who MJ is. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the king of the Illuminati. He's not even dead. We know this, okay? Trisha Paytas is Britney Spears living in L.A. under a pseudonym. What? Receipts. I mean, come on. That didn't even take any kind of brain to figure that out, Shane. Seriously. Next. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about this for a second. I'm watching this Charles Gross video the other day. Okay, first of all, I am a believer that if you put something out in the universe, it will come to you. I truly, truly, truly believe that, okay? Really, Beyonce. So anyway, I meant to have a red shirt on today because that's the color that we wear for the Illuminati. <gasps> I'm not supposed to say that. But anyway, <laughs> by the way, he does this whole thing about Hillary Clinton in there and how she's got this serious medical condition, and I had already commented on that. But anyway, Shane Dawson talks about all this medical condition and all this conspiracy theories that she's got the serious thing. And then all these people that, like, they're got fired from the Huffington Post. I write for the Huffington Post as a guest blogger. But anyway, and um, all this kind of stuff, people's videos got taken down. Shane, why are you doing this video? Are you waiting for your video and channel to be taken down? I mean, seriously, if that's the truth, I don't even know that I would test those waters. But I will say this. Everybody's coming for Hillary Clinton and all these seizures and things that they're saying that she's having allegedly. I mean, can't the gal like a good cocktail? I mean, maybe that's all it is. Seriously? I mean, maybe she's just sipping into the scotch before she goes out there and has to meet 9 million people. If it were me, I'd be like Loretta Lynn in that van when she's tearing through those tapes. I'd be like, my God, I can't do, do, do. I mean, Hillary Clinton's probably losing her mind. She's probably like, that guy with the swoop is beating us by a point. Give me a cocktail. No, I don't know. But seriously, it's like all these people are coming for Hillary Clinton and I'm just like, Whatever. I mean, this election, I can't even. Okay, that's not even worth it. But Charles Gross in his video is talking about doing collabs. This is a couple videos ago. You guys, I'm like so obsessed with Charles Gross. I'm actually thinking about doing a video. Let me know what you think about this. <clears throat> of doing like the 10 sexiest guys on YouTube, according to me. Who do you think will be number one? It might not be who you think it is. But anyway, <laughs> I do love that Mark Miller. He is so adorable. And he and his uh, boyfriend, Ethan Hethcote, are so cute. And they're from Indiana. And they are such nice guys. I just love them so much. But anyway, they would definitely be on the list. Um, but so would that guy. Oh, my God. I don't know what his name is now. You guys are going to kill me that I don't know his name. He's, like, half Asian. And he has his, like, uh, pink hair. I love him so much. Why can't I think of his name right now? Anyway, doesn't matter. But <laughs> he's not as famous as me. <laughs> He's like a gaming channel, does pranks and all that kind of stuff. I love him. I think he is sexy down. You guys are all going to write it in the comment section, so I don't need to. But in Charles Gross's video, he's like, I live in New York and there's not really a lot of people to do collabs with. Well, you could do a collab with Sanders Kennedy, Charles. I'm just, just saying. But anyway, I mean, you guys could do some swag bags or something. By the way, did you see Jeffree Star's um, haul of the Gucci stuff? Oh, my God, I love Gucci so bad. But anyway, okay, so... In there he goes, well, you know, like Casey Neistat lives in New York City, but I mean, obviously he's not going to want to do a collab with me. Do you think this one right here, hello, Vogue, do you think this one right here is not going to be doing a collab with Casey Neistat? He doesn't even know it yet, okay? Trust me. I'm going to be the next Casey Neistat. No, sir. <laughs> Never. I think, you guys, I hate so much. Like, I love all these creative videos that all these college kids are putting out, but why does every one of them want to be the next Casey Neistat? Be the next whatever you are. Be original. I want to see original content on YouTube. I am so tired of repeat, 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 repeat. I mean, so many people comment on my, com on my section because I'm so <laughs> incredible, at least fabulous. Oh, by the way, somebody said that I was like um, a mix between Todd Chrisley and Leslie Jordan. What? Oh, my God. I mean, they were trying to be funny, but that's an insult. Like, I don't hope I look like either one of them. 
My God, Todd Chrisley's Botox for days. You couldn't even get him to, like, smile. I do watch that show, though. Chrisley knows best. I love it so much. But anyway... <laughs> And Leslie Jordan is hilarious, but I don't want to look like either one of them. Oh, they said if I had a love, if they had a love child, it would be me. I hope you meant in humor and not in a looks, because I do think I'm a little bit cuter than all of that. Listen, I still turn a few heads when I walk down the street. But anyway, um, so he was saying this stuff about Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat wouldn't want to do a collab with him, and then all these kids always want to be the next Casey Neistat, and they don't do very well because. Casey Neistat is, I mean, listen, we don't need another Casey Neistat. He's incredible. I love him. He's my number one all-time favorite YouTuber in the world. I love him so much, okay? And I'm not going to be the next Casey Neistat because I don't want to be the next Casey Neistat. I want to be the next Peter Mon. And I don't care if I have 5,000 subscribers or 5 million, but I would prefer to have 5 million. I mean, who's going to sit on here and say they don't want 5 million subscribers? I'm not an idiot. I love it. I love everything about this. Somebody said, I hope this doesn't go to my head. My God, what, what would be wrong with... Me enjoying doing videos all day long. Like Alex said to me last night when we were at dinner, he goes, what would be your, like if you could have your ultimate dream to put out into the world that would happen with this, what would happen? I said, I would love to just to be able to write my books and make videos every day where people laugh and they enjoy it and they think it's hilarious and relatable. That would be so fun. And to be able to make money off of that, what? Please don't let that go to my head, okay? I am the most humble person you'll ever... I mean, seriously, I'm the most humble person you'll ever meet. <laughs> if anybody ever tells you that they are the most humble person in the world, they are totally not humble at all. Nobody humble ever says that. I think that is such a crock of shit when people say that. By the way, when I was leaving the casino the other night, I think I met uh, Amberlynn Reed's uh, sister or mom and Karina Kaboom's uh, sister because there was this woman when I was walking out the door and she's like screaming with a cigarette in her hand. She's like, I hit $134. I came in here with $37.50. I was like, sister, hold it down, my lord. Oh, she gave me an anxiety attack as I was walking out the casino with my little fountain pop. But anyway, not Mellow Yellow. It was Coke Zero. Anyway, I can't believe they have Coke Zero and Mellow Yellow. It doesn't even make any sense. And Orange Pop. Ugh, who drinks that? Not anybody. But anyway, I do plan to do a, a collab at some point with Casey Neistat. I want him to teach me how to longboard through uh, the Vegas Strip. Wouldn't that be so cool? Wouldn't you guys love to see me longboarding through the Vegas Strip? Oh, come on, Casey. We have to go in here and I got to pull some slots. <laughs> Anyway, I'm obviously going to have to make another video because I'm only like three things into what I have to talk about. And I mean, that's just not going to happen at all. So anyway, um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> you guys, this is so, like, this is when it's not cute is when I start taking notes. Because I've noticed, like, if I take notes and I totally go off my script. And I mean, that's just not funny. Ha ha, right? But anyway, I was thinking last night that I want Trisha Paytas. Okay, so I have to write it down. So if I don't write it down, I, I forget about it. And then if I forget about it, then I get on here and I go, uh, Karina Kaboom, nail polish, Karina Kaboom, nail polish, shame. And you guys don't want to hear all that all the time. You want to hear me talk about something else. So I was like sitting there in my bed last night and I was like, okay, so when I am famous, what's my dream? And my dream is, I mean, I am going to put out my own music, don't get me wrong, available on iTunes, <laughs> dad, I can't wait. And I did order the hat that says dad. So you think I'm lying, I'm crying, I'm not crying. But anyway, Trisha Paytas, I want her to make a song on her next album called Lust for Daddy and it's going to be about me or Lust for Dad. And then I want her to recreate Lana Del Rey. I love Lana Del Rey so, I'm like the world's biggest Lana Del Rey fan. I mean, seriously, if she came in here right now, forget that faint a million faints thing. I seriously would just like fall on the head, fall on the floor and my head would split open and bleed everywhere. I love Lana Del Rey so much. I think she's so gorgeous, right? She could just stand in front of a microphone and not even say anything. I don't even care. I'd pay $300 to see her. But anyway, I want Trisha Paytas to recreate that whole ride video, especially with the talking part at the beginning, but I'll write it for you because I'm a good writer. So anyway, and then you know the part where Tr oh, Trisha Paytas, where Lana Del Rey is sitting on that old man's lap at the motel and he's got like a suit on and he's smoking a cigarette. I want that to be me. That's the role I want to play in that video. And then Lana, De <laughs> Lana Del Rey. And then, oh, my cousin Caroline's calling. Hey, Caroline. And then I want uh, Trisha Paytas to sit on my lap. Oh my God, I would love that so much. Caroline, quit ringing. But anyway, so I think Caroline's son watches these videos, so let me give him a shout out. Hey, David. But anyway, um, that's so funny. People all the time are like, how did you get started on YouTube? My YouTube channel, if you guys, like somebody said the other day that they watched my videos back in the day, no lie, the very first video that I ever did on here, on this channel that is privatized, I should probably put it up, but it's a totally different Peter Mon. I have no beard and dark hair. But anyway, I talked about my cousin Caroline calling me and she asked me for advice. She's like, I'm going out with some girlfriends tonight and I have two different outfits and I don't know which one to wear. And I said, well, what's the problem? And she's like, 
Well, one outfit gives me muffin top, the other outfit gives me camel toe. I said, girl, change both outfits. No, no, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> she started laughing. But anyway, and then I talked about this pregnant or this girl with a baby that I met at the wall, the scary Walmart and how depressed she was. And I said um, something to the effect of like, what's it like to have a baby? She's like, I'm so tired. She's so tired all the time. But anyway, I have so many things to talk about, you guys. And I'm at 15 minutes already. And so I don't really know what to say. So I'm going to obviously have to make another video. I mean, I am. Anyway. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to make another video really, really quick. I may even have the same shirt on, and I don't really care. Get over it. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Follow me on all my social media, Snapchat, Twitter. Subscribe to this. And go down to my other BookTube channel below. Even if you don't like books, I don't care. Even if you don't know how to read, I don't care. Go give it some love. It would really mean the world to me because I love that channel so much. Bye.